Hello everyone, Supersonic Blue here and welcome to a mini series that I'm doing currently with the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, The Frozen Wilds. Um, so basically we're currently located in Meridian, um, more new game plus one so I'm way over level, well not way over 50, um, but basically uh, when you get the Frozen Wilds DLC, you'll get these little blue question mark things. Now, I'm assuming these will teleport you to um, the Frozen Wilds DLC, which is located on the Nora side of the map, which is over this side, right up north here. It's this big patch of land just here. Um, so, basically... Um, I'm going, going to this guy now, and I'm hoping it's gonna transport. He's gonna transport us over to this, uh, like into this region, um, and I don't have to like transport to, to there and then go to there and then go up there. I'm just assuming because there's three quest things, and I'm assuming they're all the same quests. Um, so uh, that's what we are going to be doing. I've been covering. Um, as much as I can with it, so very helpful here. Collectibles, so there's pigment to discover, uh, animal figurines to discover, and then there's some like data points as well. Frozen Wild hologram, Frozen Wild sets data points in the like world and stuff like that. Audio data points, usual sort of stuff that's in the in the main game. Um, and also, there, there, there are also five new machines to discover as well. So, uh, come come along. It's obviously not started it. You know what I mean. So, um, so yeah. So let's go over to. Your man here. I'll see. What's up? What's the problem? Betrayal. By my own blood. I was meant to go on a machine hunting expedition to the Banuk Wilds with real hunters. Then the rumors began new machines and evil miasma, many dead Banuk, and so on and so forth. So my father won't allow me to go. He says there's too much danger for a noble scion. Do you always do what your father tells you? Uh, yes. Of course. <clears throat> Have you ever actually hunted machines? I've had our bearers carry a lance horn for me to shoot at. Um, its movement <laughs> was fearfully realistic. Okay. What kind of new machines? That's exactly it. My father doesn't even know. He only heard whispers in the sun court. And the evil miasma? Who knows what those tent-dwelling savages consider evil? Or a miasma. I just want to hunt. Honestly, why even give me a sword for my 16th year? What's a sword for if not for brandishing? 16? Piss off. Hunting in the Banuk Wilds. Do you mean Banur? Oh, no. <laughs> That's so far from the sun's light. The expedition would be swallowed up. It's a place they call the Cut. Something of a no man's land from, uh, the, you know. The war. But now it makes for excellent hunting. There's a pass through the northeastern mountains. I guess I'll have to look into these rumors myself. It's through a treacherous pass in the northeastern mountains. You can't mean to go alone to that sun forsaken place. I suppose outlanders can do whatever they please. By the sun, if only I wasn't born noble. Yeah, sounds tough. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I've actually physically got it. 3,304. Ah, oh, I was really hoping it would transport me over. Oh, fucking hell. Right. Well, we're just going to have to travel to here. I was really hoping it would just fast travel me up there. Mining, that would have been too easy. 
Silver, there's a little um, warning then, found out the hard way. Well, it's not the hard way, you know what I mean, but... That's the furthest north I've been in this region. Um, you know, in the last game playthrough when I did the original playthrough, I discovered everything, all the vantage points, the, you know, the metal flowers, the cup things, you know, and if it was something else, I discovered, oh, uh, the Banuk figures. I found them all, you know what I mean, but since I'm doing a new game plus, I thought and I've done all that, so I'm just sort of going, because I really enjoy the storyline, so I'm just going straight through it again. Um, so, if it feels a little pointless to me, if I walk past one, then yeah, I'll absolutely do it, but I don't see much point to it. But, um... Of course, I will end up doing Frozen Wilds because it's it's new stuff in it. So, ah, oh, it's a charger or a broadhead charger. Hey, you'd think I'd know. But over 500 steps away, it's got some curling round. Yeah, we're fully racked up, and we're level 50. 53, nearly 54. Now I'm just gonna breeze past these. I am not in the mood of fighting anybody. I cannot be asked. You just go, if you go past like this, they're not gonna see you. Well, they will, well, they will see you, but as long as you can get quick enough away from them, they're still yellow and not a red. You'll be great. But I, uh, Really enjoyed playing this game, and it only felt right to, to play it again. Oh, there's a few people on my tail. Right, I've got like all the adept weapons as well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I've also, as well, I didn't show you this, when you get the DLC, uh, what you get is skills, so you get the Traveller perk, it's called, this is with your Frozen Wilds DLC, so, something well, well no, you can repair machines, overriding machines and that, uh, you can mount, uh, mount and repair so he increases your speed, dismount strikes, so you're probably popping up. If you go past an enemy, it shows you that you can jump off and get your lightweight, medium machines. Uh, yeah, yeah, looting skins, bold, it, and it has actually assisted, quite helped quite a bit. Um, yeah, get your inventory increased again. Shard salvages, so if you can, can never find a merchant, you can actually do it yourself and you get ju just half its value. So, I thought that. Oh, there's something on me, Krev. Oh dear. Uh, it's flashing, get away from me. That'll be that friggin' scrapper. There is another nice campfire. Avoid them. They're they're easy to avoid, obviously. Just as long as you've got a mount, you'll be fine. Because obviously you can haul half past. This must be this yeah, time. Just about. Right, so what we'll do here, I don't, I'm assuming I can't take this any further, so, i save that. Probably then be able to, uh,
I'll probably be able to get get call a mouse in once I get up here. Oh, how handy. It's all blue for me. Oh, I reckon this is going to be a lot of frigging climbing. Ooh. Some supplies just for me. Yeah, I don't recall any of this being here. Uh, up here. Oh, dear. Right, so... This is going to give you a good guideline of what to expect um, when you, if any, if you decide to do this DLC. But you know the game's good, so you know you want to give it a chance. You know what I mean? And with the Assassin's Creed, I bought every single Assassin's Creed because. DLCs because the game's just so good. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, drop. Right. Looks like it's a little bit of uh, rock climbing. Ah. So, yeah, be a lot more difficult in the dark. My crate. Don't mind if I do. This one's a new predator. Oh, what are you? Right. So this is called. Oh, we can override it, so I'm assuming. Well, obviously there's a cold in it, so let's see. Uh, doesn't like freeze, blaze and tear. As a... it's got a mine launcher tear. All. His strength is tear. Right, so we want to get that fucking canister off, and we want to get its weapon off as well. Use it against it. Actually, he didn't see me though. Oh my god! Jesus! Hello! Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's strong! Jesus! Right. Oh! Fuck me! No, 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 no. Jesus Christ! I'm sorry! Oh! Right. I've got to lay some fucking traps. That was fucking unreal. Jeez. These... I, I, I've been very handy. I've got to lay four. I don't know how much fucking help it has. There's fucking proximity bombs as well. Deal with them quickly. Come on. Go get me. Come on. Come here. Yeah, you've seen me. Come on. Come here. Oh, ho, 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 fucking hell. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, my day. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. 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 oh my fucking days. Oh 
Hello. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. I really had a goddamn heart attack. Right, I need to use freeze. Now I should have inventory weapons depth sling. It's not as fucking strong though. This is the fucking problem. Well, apparently there'll be a lot of new weapons and armor and stuff, so I'll, uh... God almighty, give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh no, there's something else. There's something else over there as well. Everything's freezing. The ground, the air, me. Oh no. Jesus fucking Christ. Forget about traveling light. Oh thank god, I thought that was something no, I thought that was something forming then. What is that fucking noise? Okay, that's a welcome I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the friendly. Well, I'm caked in snow, so you know. Frozen wilds. Oh my god. I'm still recovering from having that near heart attack. <laughs> oh. Jesus. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You're saying this to me. Oh, but. Oh, actually, was there anything to stay here just passing? Hmm. We made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Both guards. This is Song's Edge, biggest settlement in the cut. These are dangerous lands, Outlander. Deadly, even. This isn't Ban Ur, not quite. You've come on a dark day, that's for sure. You're a long way from the sacred land, Nora. You leave soon, I'll wager. Your body, your spirit, or both. I'm just seeing what. The... This is Song's Edge, biggest okay. settlement in the cut. I was just seeing what they had to say. Any clues? What is that thing? That fucking volcano. That looks warm. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village too. What's it for? Dunno, I imagine it's something I've gotta discover for it might have something else. I'll 
Investigate the source of the smoke. Our chieftain has led our best to the deaths. Okay, we'll do that. We'll, uh, we'll, 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 uh... I do not think that our hunter's blood is in Aratek's hands. He led them to a great challenge. See what's that about. Anything for me to look in? Let's just, let's just have a look at these surroundings. Okay, fuck okay. it. Uh, ooh. Let's have a warm. Here we go, supply crate. That's what I'm actually looking for, supply crate. Right. I'm a gone here. Okay, so that looks like a charger, so... Looks like I'm getting them. Uh, probably do not tell like in a separate video, like how to climb it, how to you know how to get to it and then we'll go from there <laughs> so uh and then we might do a cauldron episode how to do i think what i want i think i want to take out the cauldron as soon as possible to over i don't want to fight many of those machines that was just fucking ridiculous that 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 was terrifying and yet here we are Smashed off virtually all my armor and stuff. Hello. <laughs> You'd ready for a rare sight, Nora. Burgrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send out. Okay. What is that place? Yeah, I thought I might have to fight something here. What are these? Are these gonna attack? Oh, well. Or are these good birds? Oh, these, are, these look like goodies. Goodies. So are they like... They look like meteor glintharks. Meteor like a storm bird, but... Um, not as big, obviously. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight? And die, as well as they did! My courage! My spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The 
Damon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid? Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look. I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Warricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clan back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Warricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Warricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this Steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Varja's father's 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 Her mother really. wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh. Mm. How do I put it, uh... Women? No, 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 I independent. Huh. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. 
I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Araya or Thunderstorm. Song's Edge is lucky to have that. Maybe worth a shot. Right. So. Let's have a look here. Uh, now. Actually, we'll just have a look at this trader. Here. Uh, and we'll look at this trader and see what to expect and then we'll probably leave it there that's just cancel no not that one where is it oh, because that's... shaman's path ah here we go that one Oh, it's glasses side. Okay. Uh, so we'll just have a look at see what we can expect. Uh, right. So uh, I need. Blue gleam and a frost glow heart. <laughs> okay. Blue gleam and a scorch your heart. Uh, a strike a bow. Blue gleam and a fire claw heart. So it's 3D weapons, outfit. Desert glass, slag shine glass, blue gleam sculpture lens, fire claw lens, blue gleam, and frost call lens, blue gleam. Now, to be honest with you, what I've got on is probably the best of what you're gonna get. What sort of resources can we get here? Metal burn up on the Pretty much all the same in normal game. Traps and potions, any new traps that I need. Not by the looks of it. Ammo. No new ammo. Treasure box. Well, we might as well take a uh, free sample box. Um, okay, so these require blue gleam by the looks of it. So I'll have to, I'll have, to have a butcher's about and see what these things are badger bone goat bone badger bone so these are new animals um, I might as well now I keep I've got the spear damage thing and I don't know where to use it because I can't use it on my bowl the my thing that I've got at the moment my uh, Spear. So we'll go over to Art One. Um, three in the area. Might as well collect three sample boxes. You know what I mean? Um, oh, there's Good news is that I think, yeah, she's a normal trader. Just might as well look into treasure boxes, get me a free thingy box. And then, where is the other one? All the ones over here. Let's have them butchers at this guy. Mm. 
Oh my god. Right, well, let's just do a little bit of climbing. We'll have a look at this trader and then that's where we'll probably, we'll probably leave it, to be honest with you. I think this video's gone on long enough. That's providing I can get up there. Am I going the right way? Oh, I'm gone. That makes that makes sense. Breath is ice before you even breathe out. Oh, nice. No, ah, here we go. Right, let's. There's a few things that do, a few little missions and things. There's a. Do like. There's a, already a side quest on, so. You know. At least that's a good thing. Um. Um. Oh wait, this Quite is a the... view you've got up here. It's a useful perspective. How fleeting we are when the world is so wide. From up here, you can see how the light paints across the land, ever changing. That's a lesson. All our marks will pass. That outlook sounds a little depressing for a painter. Haven't met many artists, have you? Song's Edge needs new stories. I scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew. But a new start needs new colors. Fresh pigments, like none have seen. Ah. Oh. So this is where you need to collect those, these pigment things. Have you things. always been a painter? I've always painted. But I wasn't a painter until I was driven out of Banur. Up there, the markings are eternal. They paint over the same lines, the same colors, over and over. As a child, I learned from copying them. As I grew, my heart sank at the familiarity. All of us Banuk might as well be trapped in glacier ice. We have the look of life, but never really moving. Ah, right, okay. So what do I get? That's all I need. Light, medium and dark salt. Light, medium, and dark crystal, and light, medium, and dark oxide. Okie dokie. I still can't do that yet. These pigments you want, where should I look for them? Salts gather at the edges of geysers and hot pools. Crystals cling to the rocks and cliffs. The Banuk rock paintings are impressive, but, um... You want to know what they mean? That's not the right question, but I'll answer anyway. Some are a call to the machines. The sacred shapes you see on metal casings or on a cauldron door. Do the machines listen to the call? I don't know. Others like mine are a call to the tribe. You could say inspiration or prophecy. And sometimes even men listen if the painting is loud enough. I'll see what I can find for you. Seek out the vibrant ones. A spring of sudden color among snow or rock or metal. That's its own reward. But I'd reward you as well. Right, so that is your special trader. So, I think that is where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.